foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So, welcome to this 15 minute of experience and today I'm with Ian Fuller from England and welcome. Thank you very much, it's good to be here. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to have you too. And uh, so, as you know, I will love if you can introduce a bit of yourself and then we can uh, go dive deep in your picture. Yeah, my name's Ian. I'm from a city called Winchester in England. It's about an hour and a half south of London. And I'm a graphic designer. And I've been shooting Lano cameras since about 1999. So quite a while now. Cool. So and uh, as a graphic designer, uh, yeah, this is a particular <laughs> situation because I also was a graphic designer and then I approached it to the photography uh, yeah. during a uh, photo shooting for a client and then from that moment I started to take picture every day yeah. how that how did it work for you it was the same I mean I, I had my day job where I just do all sorts of design from I don't know from you know business cards to posters that sort of just sort of normal graphic design stuff but in my spare time yeah I just wanted to go out and shoot everything with a camera and the I discovered the Lomo LCA and it was just a perfect tool because it's so small you can take it everywhere and also the the ethos behind it you know all the rules don't think just shoot um, it was all about experimentation so I just yeah jumped straight in as soon as I discovered that camera so we can we can say your soul as a graphic designer is totally in your picture because your picture are full of a double ex exposition, uh, full of uh, this color, uh, uh, a really uh, powerful uh, and uh, yeah, even sometimes a bit um, acid. We can say no. Yes. Yes. So and. Uh, yeah, I see in your portfolio there are a lot of pictures made with, only with the Lomo LCA. Yeah. So, and uh, I ask to myself, uh, did you use only this camera? Pretty much, yeah. I um, it's I use it just it's, it's great as an experimental tool. Um, I, I never really got around to learning the rules of the proper rules of photography, so I never felt quite at home with digital camera, um, and. I use much more just instinct, intuition, and pure chance to, to make my photos. Um, so it's, it's much more of an experimental tool for me. Yeah, I can, I can imagine because then uh, probably you, you move on uh, uh, in your work, in your main work as a graphic designer, uh, uh, all of this inspiration uh, you come, you take from, no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in my day job, I have kind of set boundaries and you have deadlines and parameters which you have to work within. But with the with the Lano camera, there's nothing, there's no rules. Uh, and, and so it was a kind of escape from my, my normal regimented, rigid kind of the way I have to work. It was just a complete opposite to that, which is why I think I gravitated towards that camera. And have you ever did something uh, combined uh, your photography uh, with the graphic design? Yeah, I've used my photos wherever wherever I can. Um, it depends on the project. I mean, where the project calls for, it doesn't need you know pin sharp accurate images. If if you need something a bit more abstract or uh, a bit more fanciful, a bit more experimental, yeah, I always try and use my own photos for sure. Yeah, I see that you do do it a lot, a lot of picture, yeah. or I can imagine. I don't know. It's a, it's a more a, a collection during the year, maybe, probably. Yes, uh, for sure. So, so I'm. I was asking to myself if uh, have you ever thought about uh, to to make something with your picture? I mean, something more than just taking the picture and uploading. Yeah, I mean, I, I started. Did, yeah, if you did I, also, yeah, it's a, the question. Yeah, I started doing um, Loma walls 
um, where I just combine the pictures and pick out colors and, and try and just make a collage. Um, so yeah, I've kind of done, that's one of the avenues I've, I've explored. Um, but other than that, I actually, the, the double exposures for me, they're, they're kind of instant art rather than, because I can't, I'm not very, not very good at painting and and a lot, a lot of stuff takes too long. So that that's how I express my, um, my myself really, through those double exposures. That's my, that's my medium, if you like. And just to, to ask you, uh, how does it work? I mean, uh, you shoot, uh, how, how do you shoot your picture? I mean, do you think about your picture? Is it just uh, an instinct? It's, it's more of an instinct. I mean, sometimes over, over the years I've learned which angles work, which, which things I can shoot, which things work good together. So you'll see a lot of sunsets in my work, in my pictures. I found that if I shoot sunsets, I'll shoot a whole roll of sunsets and then I'll rewind the film and then start shooting over the top. And when I shoot the second layer, I usually shoot, put my camera on the ground because then the lower half of the, the frame will have the sunset and then the top half of the frame will punch out the second layer. So I've learned that those two combinations work really well together. So I kind of use that. And, but in answer to your question, it's often pure chance and intuition and just, just luck. There's a lot of luck involved. Yeah, so, so, you use, uh, so usually I see most uh, of your picture in double exposure so i asked to myself if you uh shoot first the roll and then you go back or you in the same moment uh, shoot on the on the same frame how does it work that usually i, I do both of those it depends because on the new lcas they have the multiple exposure button so yeah you can just for example i'll shoot some flowers if i see some bright orange flowers um, I'll snap those, then I'll press the MX button and it doesn't advance the film. So then I'll find something else to shoot over the top of it. So those double exposures are in the moment. They're, they're just one after the other. But then the other way is when I, I'll shoot a whole roll and then I rewound it, rewind it and then shoot again over the top. So I use those two methods. Yes, it's, it's, it's a really interesting your work I, I was watching because it, that, I mean, in a way you have to be also or I don't want to say lucky, but uh, you have to pay attention to what is around you when you want to shoot on the same frame. So then, uh, sure. in a way, yeah, it's instinct, but also is a, a probably perspective of composition, we can say, you know? Yeah. And um, have you ever, uh, and did you do just uh, the scanning of the film you have, or you you also work a bit on, uh, I don't know, Lightroom in post-production or even something to make on the picture more? Generally, that's how it is. That it's all done in camera. I, I, I get the, the photos developed by a lab and they, send, they, they then send me the scans. And I'll sometimes tweak the, uh, the, the curves in Photoshop just to, because sometimes the original is a bit dull. So I'll just, I, I try and avoid using Photoshop too much. Um, but yeah, for sure, I'll, I'll, I'll just tweak it to, to punch things out a little bit here and there. Um, the, the, the shots I enjoy most are when I don't have to do anything. What you see is what you get. So, some of those, um, some of some of those shots, they're the best ones. When it comes out of the camera like that, and it's like, wow, yeah, that that works. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really magic in a way, no? That uh, that process, and I think it's uh, even more magic uh, when. Uh, when you develop by yourself and uh, not only the part of developing, but more of printing on the paper, I think it's really a magic moment because it's always uh, like, uh, I feel always like a child. Absolutely, yes. And yeah, see yeah. this uh, smoke in the water come yeah. but, uh, with images. Uh, it's really particular. It's uh, it's really beautiful of, of the chemical process. And uh, I wanted to ask you a question I'm asking recently in the last podcast uh, is what is for you the concept of beauty? Of, of what, sorry? The concept of beauty. Beauty. Wow, yeah, that's a good one. I think for me, it's, 
imperfection. I, f- I find that when I look at a, a really high resolution digital shot and it's just so perfect, it's, it's, it's almost unbelievable. So I, that's why I, I love film and particularly the, the, the Lomo way is because you get the grain, you get the nitty gritty and it somehow makes things more real. Um, so yeah, when, when things are perfect, I, can, I tend to shy away from them. But if something's imperfect, I find beauty in that. So yeah, so I, I got, I got the, the, the vision. And just, just to, to, to ask you some uh, per or last question are, uh, what do you think uh, photography permitted you to connect with uh, that in general you called not before? Um, it's, it's the community. I mean, the, the Lomo community is, is, is amazing. I mean, if, if you're on your own, shooting on your own, yeah, you can go so far, but then the inspiration I get from other lom- Lomography, uh, people who shoot Lomo is, is, is amazing. I'm always seeing s- photos that I just, i just store in the back of my head and use as inspiration. And then that leads me in a different way to what I may have uh, gone before. Um, so yeah, the being part of the community is, is everything. I mean, film swaps, um, I'm currently doing a film swap with, with, with some people. It's, it's constantly, it helps you constantly develop. It helps you constantly move on. You're, I'm never standing still. You're always trying new things. Um, so that, that, that for me is, is the beauty of that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really interesting that, uh, I didn't know about the swapping of picture I, I did for some years, uh, postcard swapping a lot, yes, yeah. the word, <laughs> and this is so crazy and amazing at the same time, because you get in touch the people uh, you will never get in touch in your life because probably they live a uh, thousand and thousand kilometers far away from you. And, uh, and you get in touch with them and you can, in a way, touch what they touched and uh, yeah. also read, uh, read the, the person through the, the, the writing style uh, and the, the, the style of what they choose, the taste of graphic, you know, yeah. and this is so amazing. And I uh, recently, I was talking about uh, swapping pictures and, um, I think in a way, uh, I, I mean, I did it because in my, in my way I did it, uh, but um, unconsciously. Uh, yes. some, some years ago, I was traveling a lot and um, uh, I was uh, always with me. I had this uh, big pack of uh, photography printed and I was usually uh, print them as a postcard, writing, I don't know, some trolls or some indication stuff I was writing in the bus, in the train. And... Uh, Then I was putting this post- postcard in the mail letter of people I didn't know. So where I was passing, just I put, <laughs> I put this stuff inside, no? Completely uh, random. Completely random. Right. And completely random, I got in touch. I met some people in other countries. They got a postcard from my picture from someone I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> This was the, the funny part, the connection you can create with someone without knowing that you are creating a connection. Yeah, and it's, it's those connections that are so amazing because, yeah, you just wouldn't make them perhaps otherwise. So, yeah, and it, and it takes you down all sorts of avenues and, and, and makes you explore places and people that you just, it's, it's, be, it's beautiful. Relying on chance like that, it's fantastic. Yeah, that, that's that's also something I, I would love to 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 make it with this project, starting to make exchanging or sending pictures, yeah. not only digitally, uh, but more physically. It's something I appreciate a lot. And if you are uh, not far away from London, there is a really beautiful uh, collective of photographers. Their name is uh, Photocopy Club. Right. And they do it so interesting stuff in this way. So they ask worldwide always this open call. They do it not every year, but almost. And uh, they ask to the people to print down with as a photocopy in the picture and to send to them. And then they take these pictures and they paste the pictures everywhere in the galleries. And so cool that it's really cool. You have to see. And 
uh last question um what do you think uh it's not here in the experience of photography and you will love to in a way dream that uh, come to our uh, vision of life there is something uh, we you think uh is not there i think um it's become so disposable isn't it photography now with, with people having cameras on their phones it, it kind of loses a bit of bit of meaning because you just and this is often said by people who shoot film you just take a bit more care when you're shooting film and because it's not just something you take and just then it goes on your phone and you never look at it again i find that i'm constantly looking at my photos and every photo i know exactly where i took it And so it's, it's, it's an instant memory. Um, and it just somehow has more importance. It has more meaning. Um, and and I, that's why I love film so much. Um, so, yeah. Just... yeah I, think, I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, in generally, yeah. But uh, I don't know, for me, it doesn't happen that. I mean, I, I'm really sad for example uh, that i lost a lot of picture digitally but even also analog picture and uh, a lot of picture i shooted with my phone uh, there was period uh, that uh, i was in these travels and i uh, had no place where to buy film i had no place where to buy batteries for my digital camera and uh, or i had not to charge it with me and i had only the phone And I shoot this picture and I remember this picture like I did yesterday. And, uh, and uh, yeah, in a way, mm, depends. I think uh, uh, the meaning uh, born uh, in the moment that we give meaning to our life. And doesn't matter if we do it digitally or physically. It doesn't matter if we drink uh, a coffee of uh, 20 bucks or uh, 50 cents. It's important uh, the way we, we do it something and the way we get in touch with ourselves and not, um, I mean, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's uh, when you buy a film and cost 10 bucks and uh, you shoot a picture with your phone that uh, you have, you have not to forget that to buy the, the phone, probably you, you spent uh, 200 or 1000 bucks. Uh, but the point is, um, Yeah, for sure, this help the analog part because it take more time, take care, but uh, also the process uh, to to get in touch with the digital file take time. I mean, you can see there directly when you shoot it, but take a lot of time to really see the picture you did. Yeah. I mean, as to pass um, enough time to forget the moment to get in touch again and see, oh. This was this moment. Oh, and there is these things I never saw before. And uh, so I think the meaning uh, come always after uh, a lot of time we forget about something. And then uh, there is a real meaning. For sure, for sure. So it was nice to, to meet you and see you. And uh, uh, I hope uh, that people can look at your double exposure and... Uh, film collection and swapping with you yeah and uh, if anyone wants to see the work of ian can uh, see the link in the description as always i say and uh, um you can also send a voice message if you want to get in touch with him directly from a link in the last uh, part of the description and thank you again for uh, your time and your presence thanks for having me it's been great to talk to you Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project.